Hi, today I have a DIY for the best foot and hand cream ever. And it's something that you can do at home and you don't need to be afraid because it's really easy. I know making cosmetics at home sounds so complicated, but it's really not. At least not this one. So my cream looks like this and like this. And if I take it out, it is a little bit, I don't know how much you can see. It's a little bit buttery and then you can mm, smear it all over your hands. <laughs> this cream is actually a cream that has saved my feet because my feet, although I go to pedicure and I'm really loving my feet, I'm massaging them because I'm a dancer and I love dancing barefoot. I always get a very rough skin on my feet and this cream actually helped me. I was just reading a blog article about shea butter and how good it is for your skin and I decided to order it and then it came but it was like a soap. It was hard and it was not easy to use. So I googled also like what kind of other oils would be good for my skin and how could I maybe mix it because I knew that when I mix this shea butter with another oil that is more fluid um, I would get maybe a nice cream. So this is what I did then and it came out a wonderful recipe. So this cream has the best ingredients ever. I will link all the benefits that you get from the ingredients below and now I will show you what I did. So what I always have at home and use for cooking and also my entire body from head to toe is coconut oil. And everything here is organic and extra native. And I would also recommend this to you because then you get all the best ingredients and what you put onto your skin should be also what you would maybe eat. So your skin is your biggest organ and you get all the ingredients that you put on your skin into your body. So choose wisely. If you eat organic stuff, also put organic stuff on your body. So and now how to make it. First you take the shea butter and you heat it up in a pot. But be careful not to heat it up too much. Just slowly, slowly, slowly raise the temperature so you see that it gets it melts and it gets soft and then when it is melted you can put in some other oil and I have chosen jojoba or jojoba oil which is actually not an oil but a wax and it's amazing for your skin and this also gives the softness to the cream because coconut oil can be a little bit hard especially if you're in a colder climate then um, and if you would just mix coconut oil with shea butter you would have just a hard brick and that's why I have used like 100 grams of shea butter and then I just mixed in 50 grams of jojoba and then the other 50 grams came from coconut butter. I mixed it all and then I put it into the jar of my coconut butter and then I let it cool down. But then it was still oily, like fluid, and I didn't want to have a liquid cream, I wanted to have a buttery cream. So I put it into the fridge and then when I got it out of the fridge, it was this beautiful texture that it is now here and this cream is really amazing it was just an experiment but now I'm hooked and I will always produce this cream for my body so it not only saves my feet and it's really amazing now when it gets colder here in Berlin for the hands but you can put it all over your body but be careful if you just smear it on your body you will feel very waxy and um, I, I'm sure you don't want this so really use this cream only sparingly after you have just showered and your skin is still moist so then it's a perfect way to cream your skin and for the feet of course after you had a shower or a bath and it's perfect after you had a foot bath and for the hands of course you just also clean them with water and then you have this nice massage it's also beautiful for the cuticles and your fingernails I'm so happy that I really wanted to share this with you so 
now I'm excited to know from you, did you ever try to make your own cosmetics? Or maybe you came up with another idea as amazing as this one? If so, please share it in the comments. And if you make this cream for yourself, I would be also super happy to know how it works for you. And of course, if you make this cream, and you want to share it with your friends on Facebook or Instagram or something, just tag me. You can also use the hashtag Coco Berlin and then I will come over and see your pictures and leave you a comment. So I'm very, very excited what you think about this. And yeah, let's keep in touch. And if you like this video, share it with your friends. If you like it, you can also like it, like give me a like. If you want to subscribe, you better subscribe. And yes, see you in the next video. Bye.